This is the 8th Annual Vancouver Fashion Week, brought to you by Cube Film. begins, we follow the models into Cube Film Studio, writing down their names to be selected for the shows. Jamal and his entourage select the candidates that will take charge on the runway. As models strutted, cuts and decisions were made, as hopeful candidates wait to see if they will be selected for this year's stage. I know the selection of models will be tough, but I'm sure the real cat fight will be who gets front row. Every male model needs a great swagger. I'm just not sure this one makes the cut. Just don't look bored and never try too hard. But at the end of the day, it only matters who made the cut to the runway. Hey, we're at Vancouver Fashion Week 2009 Spring Summer and we are on our way to the gala opening. I'm here with my two co-hosts, Sarah. Hi. And Jessica. Hello. And we're gonna go have lots of fun while we're there. Let's go check it out. champagne and hors d'oeuvres were served as the Juliet Burke sparkled at the opening gala night. International and local media covered the prestigious event as buyers and retailers converged with fashionistas and socialites. Flashbulbs glistened as the mayor christened the eighth year of Vancouver Fashion Week, which was founded by Jamal Abdurrahman. This being the eighth year of Vancouver Fashion Week, how do you feel? I feel, uh, I feel great. We're, uh, we're learning a lot. Uh, we're bringing in designers, buyers, media, local, international. It has been a great, great uh, ride. When you first conceptualized Vancouver Fashion Week, did you think that it would be this big and this amazing by the eighth year? I thought from the beginning it was going to be very big. Big being the understatement, Jamal, Vancouver Fashion Week's gala was packed with the who's who of the city, making this year's gala the champion for everyone's social calendar. This year's gala gave the designers a moment to meet the press, expose themselves, and showcase their design aesthetic. At the end of the gala, the designers beamed as they shined with their creations for spring, summer 09. Vancouver Fashion Week has been supported by an eco-friendly theme this year, and the main attraction of this eco-friendly theme has been the runway stage. Designed by furniture designer Nathan Weens, the stage is reclaimed lumber from the Burrard and Robson area over 100 years ago. 
This has been one of the main attractions of Vancouver Fashion Week. Also, the benches that we sit on have also been claimed from an old Yale Town warehouse that he has used to make all of the scene happen this year. The countdown clock brought us into day two. Let the show begin as the commotion backstage gave life to the runway. We're live at Vancouver Fashion Week backstage with Val and Devin from Blow. You guys actually haven't been in Vancouver that long to start. How so fast? Three locations so quickly. Why Vancouver? I think um, there was a huge demand for it here. There is a huge demographic of women between the ages of 20 and 45 that go to galas four or five times a week that want an affordable, fantastic blowout, but don't want to have to book three weeks ahead at their salon or with their hairdresser. So that's why we also say, too, you're not actually cheating on your hairdresser. You can come in, get a quick blow. It's not a big deal, right? We're just blowing you out. We're not cutting your hair. And who says Vancouver people only wear sweatpants and never go out, except for the gym? 